Do you have any advice for other songwriters, either beginners or any, any, anybody who writes songs? I mean, lots, lots and lots of things. I'll start with no input, no output. Right. If you do not open yourself up to experiences, different music, different ideas, you will only get one kind of thing out. If you only listen to um, to the Beatles, say, you will get Beatles-type tunes out. Now, that's a broad range of tunes, but you will have that Beatles harmonic sensibility. But if you listen to the Beatles and Miles Davis and Muddy Waters and Duke Ellington, then so you've got a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Mm-hmm. Now, there's very little of Miles Davis or Duke Ellington in what I write generally. But there's a couple of times I've played Ellington type chords in Prime Evil's tunes. Mm-hmm. Not for long, but you can put a ninth in there and it works. So open yourself up to new ideas and be willing to experience new things. Read poetry, um, read new books. Um, go and see places, go and see paintings, try different kinds of art. I've, I've found there are times when I've not been, I've not felt as creative. I've not had as many guitar ideas, I've not had many chord ideas. I've seemed to kind of, kind of run out of um, inspiration. And I've found that um, going to see art, whether that's going to see theatre or dance or uh, going or drawing myself, um, it happened at the school I was at. Art was very much taught as you can drawing means you can take a pencil and you can represent exactly that thing in front of you. If you don't have perspective fully under control, you can't draw. And so I was in my fifties when I started actually just taking a pencil, taking a line for a walk, and drawing things, and. This this year I did Inktober, which is a daily challenge where you draw something with pen and ink and post it in social media, inspired by uh, friends Fiona Gibson and Jim Doak. Mm-hmm. And that's been fabulous to do because it's a different artistic experience. And I'm not saying I can really draw, but I can do some primitive expression by drawing. Mm-hmm. And I really enjoy doing that. So if you're writing songs and then you're finding you're not, they all kind of sound the same, or you've you've you're you, you know you're needing different ideas. Go and read some beat poetry. Go and get some you know a wee notebook from Cass Art and some basic pens and draw some things. Draw a tree. Draw a ball. Draw a line with your eyes closed. All of that. F- helps me mm-hmm. open up my head, open up the space and get in touch with the creative side to let new things come through. Yeah, I get a lot from art myself. I mean, I love art. Uh, painting in particular, I have to say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't mean just representational. Uh-huh. You know, with uh-huh. anything, any kind of painting. Uh, I love going to art galleries and stuff. And I'm always inspired, I have to say. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. The and, and Another thing I would say is when you're when you're writing and creating, pl- try not to be editing while you're doing that. Because if you're playing, you'll play a wrong note. Sometimes that wrong note is the actual n- note you need. It just might not make sense to you this second. So if you're playing, just play. Mm-hmm. Don't be sitting in judgment. And play and let it flow, and play and let it flow. And sometimes that wrong note, you might not play that one again, but you'll go somewhere else because of that wrong note. So don't be afraid of your mistakes. Honour your mistakes. And be willing to keep, you know, keep going round, trying again, because you will find, even after, you know, even if you're a bit flat with it for a while, something will come back round again, and you'll have a magic set of changes, or you'll find a golden line that you want to express, or you'll have a great song title, it'll just appear. Um, I also find it very helpful to keep a notebook for ideas, because mm-hmm. sometimes I'll hear a phrase, or I'll see a painting, or I'll hear something on the radio, that I think, well, that sounds interesting, I'll need to follow up that. 
And that's really helpful because otherwise it just disappears in all the clutter of the day. And if you and I've certainly found that helpful because I can look back through that okay, a month yeah. later and go, E. E. Cummings. Oh, okay, okay. And, and yeah, you know, I, mean, I take a lot of notes, but mostly I don't go back and look at them. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, that, that's yeah. that, that's that, that's fair too. So, yeah. um, I, I, yes, it's for me. It's a joyous process. Yeah. Um, I'm very lucky to still be doing this. I, I you know, I, I count my blessings. Um, have fun with it, and tr- try different things. I've I've learned a lot about jazz guitar and. A lot of what I've learned on that jazz guitar journey through playing in other bands has helped me refine and simplify what I play in the primevals. There's right. no, there's not really any jazz in the primevals, but the difference in playing Thelonious Monk tunes when I have to pick two notes from the chord, and it, and it has to be two specific notes in a particular register so don't clash with the rest of the band. The experience of doing that informed me again for when I was going back to hitting all six strings hard yeah, yeah. in the beat boats. Okay, so that's that's one colour. Can I use the other colour as well? Can I try both? I think that's probably one of the things you do learn as you get uh, the more you play and the more experience you get is how things fit with what's already there. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't think you think that when you're starting out. You know? I, I, yes, I mean, certainly when, when you're starting out, it's a question of trying to get through this without bumping yeah. into each other. Making a racket. Ah, but then working through it, um, arrangement, uh, a, a working a working definition of an arrangement is someone in the band doesn't play. It's a natural thing when you're playing in a band that everyone wants to play. <laughs> And sometimes you need to collaborate to say, can we try the verse without the guitars? Mm-hmm. Can we try it with just the bass drum? Can we try it with just the keyboard? Um, and it's easier to do that if you're just yourself at the computer because you can punch things in and out. But over time, you know, if you've got, if you're working with sensible musicians, you can do that with each other as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would. A thing that's very helpful for me is recording a lot. I use Reaper for the PC, and I've got a wee Bose digital recorder that we record rehearsals on. And when you're recording rehearsals, when there's six guys in the room working on ideas, you're listening and you're collaborating. But if you have that safety net of knowing that afterwards we can listen back to this, maybe some good stuff that you've missed. Ah, uh, yes, and it's it's often the case that so, that you'll listen back and you've played a tune four times and then someone got the chords entirely wrong in the middle eight, but they were far better than the ones you wrote. And you can listen back to it and go, well, I don't I don't know what it was, but it was really good. Yeah. And if you've got that, take time to listen back to what you've done. And it, but it's a different part of your brain you're using. You're allowed to critique. You know you don't have to like everything you, you write. Is but if you you know, do the creative bit and then later the come back bit. and listen to it and go, it's cluttered or it needs fewer chords or it needs one more chord or it needs a different voice or you know there, there'll be things you can change and improve. Yeah, but be open to that. And be willing to try new things, because I've I've found trying new things and trying new things led me back to writing some of the most primitive stuff I've written for the Prime yeah. Evils, because having been all the way out <laughs> and having written lots of you know songs with lots of jazzy chords in them for other things, just following songwriting ideas through, I then sat down and went D natural F natural, and it beats and it clatters, but it works brilliantly in that primeval's context. So sometimes you come back to the simplest yeah, possible sometimes thing. sometimes you just respond to what you previously did because you're kind of fed up with that and now you want to go back to something different. Oh, <laughs> yes, so, and, and yeah. uh, yes, change. Yeah. You react to what you're doing. Yes, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And, and if you feed your head, if you're taking in other music, put Radio 3 on once in a while or Classic yeah. FM, you know, you're not necessarily going to take in 
it, taken to whatever yeah, you're writing. Absolutely. I mean, Brahms or Mendelssohn. Contemporary music, including pop music, you know. Mm -hmm. And I listen to some uh, classical music as well. Saturday and Sunday mornings actually are my kind of good times for, because I go for a coffee in the weekend and I used to listen to iTunes. It either, it chooses, that, you know, I've got some playlists that it mm. chooses for me. But I just kind of explore. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> People I've never heard of before, I just turned it on to oh. what do that sounds like. <laughs> yes. And you find a, I find a lot of good music like that, you know. Oh. Just the picture somehow appeals to you. Oh. And you think, okay, I'll have a listen to that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, because you've got to be open, as you uh, say. Uh, you know? Yes. Oh. If, if yeah. you only listen to one, you know, if, if you pen yourself in, you'll stay in that yeah. sonic space. And, um, yeah, I... I, and it wouldn't matter if it was if all you were listening to was the Stooges, yeah. you know, one of my favourite bands, or the Flesh Stones, or you know any other band that I love. What I I, I love music that's got that some cross pollination in it, mm -hmm. not necessarily something where you're obviously thinking, oh he's been listening to some fancy Steely Dan chords, mm -hmm. um, but where there's where there's some of you in it, because mm -hmm. the, the absolute the absolute fundamental thing of creating art is some expression of yourself.